morning. So we uh, got up bright and early this morning. We went and washed the window. Uh, mirrors, did our pre-trip, walk around, went inside, got our coffee, and uh, now we are rolling. Uh, today's agenda is get to SEVA or undrop this trailer and uh, we're gonna get home because we got a birthday party to go to. Um, I don't feel good this morning. I don't know if it's from all the smoke in the air or maybe allergies or maybe I've gotten sick again. I don't really know. I have a definite yucky feeling in my nose and my throat. So I am not having a good morning as far as that goes. Hopefully it'll uh, shake off as we, as we roll. Slept really good though, nice and quiet here. Uh, despite the many trucks, uh, it was a good, good spot to call it a night at. Not today. Did not get my pants today. So the best thing about Tiny is this. The gentleman that's here working asked me if I would hook up to the trailer next to where I dropped uh, because I guess whoever put it there did not bother to open the doors and he needs to open the doors and for whatever reason I guess either the yard dogs down or you don't have keys or I'm not really sure but 
I said, sure, I'll give you a hand with that. Those are a blowout waiting to happen. All right, guys, that is a wrap. Typical for me, I got dirt on my face. Can, can I show you my arm? I got dirt on my arms. I'm just a dirty girl. No, I'm pretty boring. Anyhow, a uh, little over three days to do this turn. I'm not too shabby. I have thoroughly enjoyed my time with tiny uh, takeaways. Tyler, so much faster on the hills than this truck is. Uh, it's just probably related to the emission systems, the more sophisticated computer controls, making sure the truck uh, don't burn itself up. Whereas Tyler is just like, hee-haw, I don't care. Um, so, that being said, I'm gonna miss being a lazy trucker, guys. When I get back in my truck, I'm gonna miss that truck because uh, that automatic, yeah, it's nice, I like it. And uh, I forgot how much I like it from when we got out running team and we went solo. It's definitely nice to have that automatic. Uh, the fuel mileage, oh my goodness gracious, so much better. Uh, Martin ran the miles on uh, the trip and the amount of fuel that I purchased, 8.4 miles per gallon for the trip average with me driving this truck. And I feel like I have something biting me on my hand. I do. See that? That little bug bit me. Jerk. Actually, it hurts really bad. I don't know what that was, but it's bad enough to make a stingy bite. Uh, 8.4 miles per gallon though. Wow. That would do a lot for the bank account. Uh, Tyler, we're in the sixes, so two miles per gallon better? Yeah, I'll take that. Actually, we need a whole fleet of tinies. That's kind of what I'm leaning towards and thinking. Uh, anyway, thank you all so much for joining me on this trip, or trips. It was two trips, technically. I am going to get home. I really want to itch my hand because that bite is really stingy and itchy right now. So I'll see you guys later. Oh, we just got a truck juice here in Boise. It's a toasty one, guys. It's a toasty one in Boise today. Well, that's obviously with the truck sitting. I want to say it's about 87 out. So 
Something like that. Ah, what the crap, Dash. Sometimes it does this. I give it a second. Canworth problems. There we go. She woke up. It uh, doesn't send uh, lights to the uh, dash. Everything works, but it just doesn't illuminate. It's like a, it's a typical Kenworth thing of this vintage. 07 through, well, I don't know if the newer ones do it, but I know the 07 dash, I guess 06 is when this one came out. Late 06, I wanna say, through 2011, they all had these glitches every once in a while. Right, let's go get our uh, fuel receipt. It was 347 here with our discount today, so I am digging that. Come on, fancy, let's idle up. All right, let's go inside. That was a pretty good fill up for fancy. We did uh, 6.7 on this leg, which is, uh, so we have really pretty much ideal conditions. And, uh, nope, you know, there's hardly any wind, but we are heavy. We are heavy for what we do. We got um, 32,000 on here, which is about the second heaviest one I've ever hauled for this, for SEVA. So, we do 6.7 with this track, it's pretty good. Now, like I said, perfect conditions. If the conditions were bad, we probably would have been like in the fours if we had a headwind. For sure we would have been in the fours, so happy with that. Right. $365 for fuel here today. Hundred two gallons. Zero on my odometer. So pretty good. Pretty good. I don't get why you get better fuel mileage going east. I mean west than you do east, right? It's like should be the opposite. Oh, we're just gonna miss the light. But I'll take it. Working hard today. We have 32,000 pounds in this trailer at 92 degrees out. I hear the Oregon Hills. It's still smoky out, a little bit here and there, but it's starting to clear up. Most of these are just clouds and it's overcast. Looks like the old fellow went for a ride. before the 84 82 split it is hot the hell out it is really hot 95 out it's not even that hot in california right now it's toasty here this tire is doing weird stuff because you can see it's kind of feathering it's a virgin tire and they're both about the same equally equal height but i think this one maybe is some's all right with it because you can kind of see the compound here it's like the softer but it's got, got plenty of tread on it 
it's starting to flat spot a little bit because it's hopping around every once in a while. It's a virgin tire. It's a good year too, so I'm surprised. Well, actually, I'm not surprised. I had good years on Tiny, and they kind of sucked. But, I mean, it's probably because we got a lot of weight on it too, so not really helping. And it's hot, so it's got a feather. Well, it's got a little issue like that. Fancy's doing good. The uh, engine fan's getting a workout today, running manual mode. It's not 104, it was 95 when I came in here and parked. It's just the fan running and high idling, it's gonna do that. Luckily we got our AC got done and fixed on this truck and replaced the condenser. See how it's blowing out back here because it used to never really want it cool. Oh man, it's blowing actually cold. There's a stupid valve that's underneath the sleeper. I think it's bad. I messed with it a little bit when I was doing the APU install and uh, I think that must have helped because it's definitely cold back here and it's blowing cold. So if your uh, sleeper's not blowing cold at all, or it's blowing like warmish air, but your front's blowing pretty cold, well, it's either one or, it's one of the three things on Kenworths. And I would imagine Peterbilt might be similar. Um, the expansion valve is bad, which is the number one cause of, well, no, I'm not gonna say that's the number one cause. You're probably low on Freon. Uh, number two is the exp expansion valve fails. Yeah, number three, your uh, hot cold valve that's underneath the bunk that's supposed to switch off your uh, water and turn your heat off when you put this uh, deal over here, the uh, HVACs from max heat or heat to AC mode, doesn't turn off the hot water, so it flows through the core and it doesn't cool properly. And a lot of the times that's the case on pack our trucks. So. Do the easy ones first, I guess. Usually, usually it's not inadequate freon. You know, you don't have enough. You don't have enough freon in it. So I don't know. Maybe we'll do a 30-minute break here. We've been here for 10 minutes already, and we kind of need to do one. So might as well. We'll we'll do that. We'll do a 30-minute break here, and then we'll roll out. Man, I overslept. Forgot to set my alarm. I slept good. So no ribeye for me. It's gotta go. I guess uh, breaking tradition. My wife would say we're gonna go get some McDonald's. Man, it's beautiful here in Oregon, but screw driving from Portland down to the Eugene on a Saturday or a Sunday. Holy crap. Too many Toyotas on the highway. Everybody's driving their appliances. Chrome don't get you home, they say. I think it's going to get me home. Hopefully. Make sure none of these hippies pull their fifth wheel. <laughs> I know I'm a terrible person. Oregon, Oregon hippies, man. So many of them. So many of them. I am here at the Calaveras County Fair. I am taking the children to a fair day. I am deeply missing my husband, my beer drinking partner. I'm 
dizzy. <laughs> oh, man. Betting here tonight, the Calaveras County Fair and Shepherd Draws, Jubilee, along with Whiskey Fly Productions. They are going to have a wild and woolly time tonight. They're going to get better. We've got different heats tonight. We've even got the... So mad. So good for the environment. You guys like them clean K whoppers? I do. Dum -dum -dum. It's a red tag. Nothing really wrong with this trailer, but it does need some brake shoes. Uh, they're right at the limit, I would say. About a quarter inch of lining left, so that's right there where the DOT starts looking at you funny. So I have the boys replace it. Other than that, just an old unit. But that's it for that week. Got ourselves a clean K Whopper. Well, we're gonna go home. So, I'm going to get you guys home while I work on stuff. Take it easy. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. I've been on a flex since flex on. So it just kicks my ass at night, especially after a long day of trucking. Holy crap! It's so rough. My ass hurts.
guess on an eye like this, <laughs> I'll just say one thing. Fuck the manuals.